Welcome, everyone, to this celebration of the Eucharist on this Christmas morning. Uh, it's a slightly different service than our normal uh, Sunday morning service. It's uh, a little bit shorter, which might please you. Um, and our preacher this morning is going to be um, Karen Lund, who is our Archdeacon of Manchester. Uh, Hugh, Reverend Hugh and I are going to conduct this service. Hugh is going to do the Zoom operation, so anything could happen in the next half hour. Uh, who knows? I mean, we might even end up on you being framed after this lot. I don't know, but we'll see. So very good, very a welcome to you all. And it's lovely to be with you this, uh, this Christmas Day morning. And so our... We're going to have two hymns or two carols. Our first one is O Come, O Ye Faithful.
just unmuting myself there. Sorry for the slight delay. And so we begin our service. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you, and also with you. And so you'll see we have our uh, Christmas Day candle lit here for you. Uh, Jesus, light of the world, of course. And um, uh, obviously we are at the end of our Advent season and um, we have lit, lit four candles over the Advent season. And this is the, the fifth one, the centre one, which is the light that has come to us this day. God, our Father, today the Saviour is born and those who live in darkness are seeing a great light. Help us who greet the birth of Christ with joy to live in the light of your Son and to share the good news of your love. We ask this through Jesus Christ, the light who has come into the world. Amen. Lord Jesus, light of light, you have come among us. Help us who live by your light to shine as lights in your world. Glory to God in the highest. Amen. And so, let us prepare ourselves for this service. Let us still ourselves in the presence of God. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you, and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, the first commandment is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Amen. Lord, have mercy. When the Lord comes, he will bring to light the things now hidden in darkness and will disclose the purposes of the heart. Therefore, in the light of Christ, let us confess our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of your kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so the collect for this Christmas day. Lord Jesus Christ, your birth at Bethlehem draws us to kneel in wonder at heaven touching earth. Accept our heartfelt praise as we worship you, our Saviour and our eternal God. Amen. Gospel reading is one of those absolutely wonderful readings, probably the best you can possibly find uh, for all time. Alleluia, alleluia. Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Alleluia. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. 
He was in the beginning with God. All things come into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to that light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light, the true light, which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. As I mentioned, our Gospel read, our sermon this morning is from Archdeacon Karen. Happy Christmas and holy greetings to you all on this Christmas day. And I greet you in a year where we have lived very distant lives from each other and we have been comp compelled to protect ourselves, psychologically living in a far distant land, communicating remotely, standing at a distance, staying inside, and we have lived with an uncomfortable insecurity. We have become experts at muting. We have become a nation of mask wearers in order to protect ourselves from the virus. A difficult and challenging year it has been with loss, grief and much sadness. And perhaps the year's refrain has been keep calm and keep your distance. And we've had to share that message in our churches, in shops, in justice demonstrations like Black Lives Matter, in nursing homes, schools and hospitals. And our language too has been focused around barriers and prevention and self-isolation. We have re been rerouted into shops and other buildings. We've learned to watch and wave from afar. Hands, face, space has been the government's slogan to remind us of what we need to do. But today, Christmas Day, is a day when we experience and share the joy of God coming near. That God has come near to us in Christ and is the voice of hope and a voice of peace. A God who holds our hands and our faces and our spaces and transforms them into the likeness of Christ. So using that slogan to reflect on what that mean, may mean for us on this Christmas day. Hands. On Christmas day, our covered hands can be uncovered to feel the embrace of God and to hold the love that comes in Christ. Face. On Christmas Day, our covered faces are uncovered to look unashamedly into the face of God and to know that God looks with light and warmth into our faces. Space. On this Christmas Day, each one of us is invited into a divine space of light, glory and power, not at any distance, 
but close and intimate with God, as close as the shepherds and the magi were on that first holy night. But we do have some perplexions still. Like Mary, we wonder, how will this be? How on earth are things going to work out in the future? How shall we do this? And the angel replies, this is not a new normal. Christ is not a new normal. Christ is a forever and a divine normal that will turn your world blissfully upside down. Christ is the divine normal that offers many things, but uppermost offers love. A love that on this Christmas day comes near to you and all your loved ones, comes with all the power of the Most High God, and as Luke puts it, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and God's power will rest upon you. And so today, may you know the comfort and joy that comes with the birth of Christ, who invites you to stand very close to God and know that God stands very close to you. So unmute your lips and let your voices sing God's praise today and forever. Because it is Christmas Day and love has come into the world forever. And it comes for those of us who live this life on earth and for those who have died. And so wishing you a Christmas of happiness, love, joy and peace. Amen. As Karen mentioned there, Jesus is a voice of hope and of peace. How we welcome that blessing this day. The comfort and joy which comes with the birth of Christ. Love has come into the world forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right and good to give you thanks and praise Almighty God and everlasting Father, through Jesus Christ, your Son. For when he humbled himself to come among us in human flesh, he fulfilled the plan you formed before the foundation of the world to open for us the way of salvation. Be confident that your promise will be fulfilled. We now watch for that day when Christ our Lord will come again in glory. And so we join our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven to proclaim your glory, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine outpoured may be to us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again, he praised you, gave it to them and said, drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence, his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, gather us in your loving arms and bring us with the Blessed Virgin, Michael and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven, through Christ and with Christ and in Christ. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, forever and ever. Amen. And so let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. And so draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood, which he shed for you. Feed and drink, eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Amen.
We do not presume to come to this your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord, whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of dear your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. The body of Christ keep you in eternal life, and the blood of Christ keep you in eternal life. God our Father, whose word has come among us in the Holy Child of Bethlehem, may the light of faith illumine our hearts and shine in our words and deeds through him who is Christ the Lord. Amen. And we pray together. We thank you, Lord, that you have fed us in this sacrament, united us with Christ, and given us a foretaste of the heavenly banquet prepared for all peoples. Amen. Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon you. Scatter the darkness from before your path and make you ready to meet him when he comes in glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Can I just come in with a notice, please, Alex? Certainly. Yep. Yeah. Um, just to say, uh, firstly, a very warm uh, Merry Christmas to each one of you this wonderful day. Um, not a year like most years, I, I get that, but um, I just pray that you can make some celebrations because it is still a day that we should really be together and celebrating um, all that Jesus has brought to this beautiful planet. Um, and just also just to say that on Sunday, this Sunday, the 27th, uh, we won't have a service in church or on Zoom. Um, it's all going to be on the Manchester Cathedral website. So if you just Google Manchester Cathedral services, and that'll take place at half 10 this Sunday. So just be aware that just for this Sunday, there's no service in church or on Zoom for Sunday the 27th. Um, but that's all, all my messages. And just to say uh, again, just please do have a wonderful Christmas. Back to you, Alex. Thank you. Yes, of course, uh, a happy Christmas to, to everybody. You know, there is things to be happy about, isn't there, Hugh? We have seen this year the difference in people, in people's giving for all sorts of different things. If I may just mention one thing that you won't have heard about outside our parish. Um, my sister is part of the Rotary Club of Great Britain over in um, Lytham St Anne's. And every year they uh, have a Christmas toy appeal um, and they put presents in, around the tree in Sainsbury's. This year they had 10,000 toys, 10,000 toys given. So much that they have to hire a lockup <laughs> to keep them <laughs> until Christmas. Imagine that in this, what you might call austere times, such wonderful hospitality, such wonderful giving, not only in our own great parish of St. Michael's and also through the diocese, but in many, many other parts. So, um, we have a final hymn for you. Hark the Herald Angels Sing.
Oh, how I've missed the carols at Christmas. Haven't you, Hugh? Incredibly missed them. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. And a very happy Christmas to you all. <laughs>